Uh, these niggas would kill you say hi to that woman. So back mm. then, I seen Bishop, man. I seen Bishop. The, the dumbest thing I ever seen, this boy came in the door with three girls. He, want, he was thirsty to meet my buddy. He was glad to meet us, man. He was glad to walk in the door at a famous play and come in the door with a bishop say, hey, man, what you working with? It? He said, uh, he introduced Bishop to his girls. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, let me ask you, I'm gonna go back to the, 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 you said something real about somebody getting peeled. I've talked to different guys that somebody peeled? getting peeled for they for they you know. He used they, a different word. Yeah, he you was, use a different bumps word. When they yeah, when they when they get bumped. Okay. Like I talked to Ken about that, and I talked to Ralo Low the Pimp about that, mm -hmm. and and they, he was saying that it's a way that you know that etiquette. It's a it's an etiquette. It's a way that they pass off. Like you know, if somebody peel you, you call. And tell them I got it, and they pretty much they okay with it. Well, sometimes, sometimes they not. You ever get peeled for your block. bitch, man? What? <laughs> that's when I thought I was. That's what made me think I was really in the game. I didn't think nobody knew who I was. And what happened? And then somebody called. I, you know, my little female I had, and she wasn't give me but thirty seven dollars a day anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying at the time, but that was my game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? And, and so she, you know, she came up. You know, she then you know, I went to the little spot where I used to pick up, she wasn't there, so I'm like, well, well, God damn. Okay, so I you know, I just wait there for a little minute, so I go on by my business and later on I get a phone call. I, I don't know what the cat name is, but he, he introduced himself, told me who he was and told me that he had got the bitch and woo woo woo. So, you know, I was I, I had mixed emotions. I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Cause that was the only thing I had going at the time. But then once I hung up the phone, you know, I was, you know, I thought about it differently. Like, damn, he called me. Yeah, I'm like, yeah you, you know, he ah, called me. I'm like, that's a baby. Ah, <laughs> so I just had to go out and give me another one. That was in the younger, uh, 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 this new generation thing. Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> uh, these niggas would kill you, say hi to that woman. So back mm. then, I seen Bishop, man. I seen Bishop. The, the dumbest thing I ever seen, this boy came in the door with three girls. He want, he was thirsty to meet my buddy. He was glad to meet us, man. He was glad to walk in the door at a famous place, come in the door with a bishop, say, hey, man, what you working with? He said, uh, he introduced bishop to his girls. what did he do that for? Mm. Bishop said, hey, man, you want a fellowship with us? He said, yeah. He said, well, go to the liquor store and let's fellowship. We did, We drink Don Perignon riding and they smoking him and Snoop Dogg, they smoke. I don't smoke that weed. It was yeah. smoked up in the joint, man. Man, why would he leave his woman? I was just about to say. Why? Why, <laughs> why would you leave your woman? And go, man, he came back. They gone. <laughs> when he came back, I feel sorry for him, man. He was crying. <laughs> I said, man, you a Mac. You got to accept the game. Man, the man came back with his shoes on back, with his coat on back, cried. He called the police. When the police came, he said, I'm here. Uh, the young the young man said he left his woman and his girls in the room. I said, is these the young ladies? He, he said, yeah. And she told the police, she said, sir, what you looking for me for? She said, I'm not with him no more. I'm with Don Juan. Mm, All wow. three of them. He peeled them just that fast. He peeled them. But why he think he could call the police and what the police gonna do? These are grown women that choose yeah. where they gonna be. Yeah, so you that, know, the game I, is so. The game is different. You must, you gotta pay for the game. Anytime you're dealing with me, I'm not gonna give you this game for you, you gotta pay for it. All them young brothers, you want to play those cards, you wanna join the organization, it's not free. You can't go to Jewish, you can't go to Burger King, you can't go to Walmart and get nothing free. You yeah. got to pay. Man, I, I interviewed one Mar Marnita, Kenny mm -hmm. Red, uh, uh, with R.I.P. to Kenny oh, Red. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like Martina. Did you, Martina, did you know Kenny Red? Kenny Red was a great friend. He was an enforcer. He was with the famous players organization. He was come. He under Bishop Don Magic One. That's what I'm saying. These brothers be so funny when they with their wives, but you got to check in with Bishop Don Juan, man. You got to check in with me. That's why he told Kenny, uh, 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 I man, Ice T, you sure? You sure you want to be with Coco? 
He cried, yeah. Bishop said, turn your player's card in right now. He turned his card in and got with Coco. He ain't wow. never looked back, man. He living good. Ice T living good, man. I he know. I went over there. I talked to Ice T. I pulled up in that the last time I, a few years ago. Ice T was in Chicago. I pulled up in my great front room. He said, "Man, that's sharp, Jack. Man, that's sharp." He said, "Man, I can't go back, man. I got, I gotta stay with Coco, man. Mm -hmm. man that's my baby." Then he got a little pretty baby girl. Yeah, said, yeah, yeah, she beautiful. Said, yeah, man, that little she. baby girl in the film. And, and she made him cut his hair, man. Yeah, uh -huh. he did. He cut his hair. It's yeah. all gone. So it's gone, man. He turned his, he took his gloves off, and I ain't gonna box no more. But look, coming up on the bishop. See, when they come in like they want, they've been, bishop, so I'm gonna make sure you show me what you here before you come in this church. You gotta show me. So IST stepped up. He was a good member and uh, showed his self approval what, what he wanted to do. And there it is. Now, Kenny Red the same way. Kenny Red was a cold man. Out of uh, Vegas, he was a concrete jungle. Kenny Ray was our man, and the young lady talk about. I didn't know he married her, so he fell in love with her too, cause mm -hmm. he married her, and everybody didn't know that was his hope. But he married her, so it happens like that. Yeah, it was happened like that. That's why I'm just saying. Right. Excuse me. Hey man, I done seen. But when he married him, do you have to turn? Cause he didn't turn in his player's card when he got married. So how well, did why he, did? But he, he was still pimping though. So mm -hmm. he didn't turn, have to turn his he car He didn't have in. to turn it in. It's like bringing sand to the beach. Yeah. You know, he didn't bring sand to the beach. Mm. Well, what he did, uh, uh, he had his sand already. He brought, he brought Martina with him all the time. So that's how she be, got famous hanging around him. So I guess he loved Martina, that's why he married her. So you can be in love being a pimp and married, but still be a pimp and have your player's card. You said one more time? You can be in love, have, and be married, and still be a pimp. You can be whatever you want to be, but out, out of Vegas in California, they got one guy, I named him uh, the great, great, great grandmaster out of, out of, out of California. He so that good. Him, him and uh, 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 Kenny Rev was running together for years. See, when they say these brothers, a lot of these brothers just came around Bishop and they think you're supposed to come in, but if you're not crowned right, you gotta be stamped right. In order for to be in the church, you, could, you can come in, but you're gonna be over at the paths of choir. You're gonna be by the deacon boy. You can probably wear by the urshers. You ain't gonna be in, ain't nobody gonna know you. One dude said, man, I've been coming around y'all 20 years, but I ain't worn none yet. He said, man, let me give you this 100,000. I said, 100,000? He had it, I said, come on, let me bring you in the church. He <laughs> <laughs> bring you on up. He's gonna baptize you today. Oh, I brought him on in. Brought him I in. Brought him in. And, and today, believe me, he loved to Bishop, man. He loved Bishop, man. This boy loved him. I ain't gonna say his name out, but he loved to Bishop. Hey, man, it's just like this you and your wife, y'all organization. Yeah. It ain't mine. This y'all built this. Hey man, I'm gonna tip my hat off to him. This bishop organization, famous players in his organization. He's my friend, but somebody the head, he the head of that. I'm not. Did, did you ever meet, you knew Fillmore? Fillmore Slim? Fillmore Slim, yeah, I met Slim. He just had a party last, uh, this Saturday. He did? I didn't get a chance to make it because man, like me, I've been, I never turned my player's card in. I'm gonna keep my player's card all my <laughs> life. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.